Hi, I'm Matt, I'm an architecture student. I'm Alberto, and I'm an engineering student. I'm Brianna, and I'm a farmer. And I'm Bruni, I'm an nutrition student, and together we're mini city builders. So, the story of Halifax begins with community. Uh, as the largest city on the East Coast, it attracts a lot of youth that come here to live, work, and play. And, however, however, the recent housing crisis has made it harder to keep a roof over your head, especially in recent times. And the top three reasons for homelessness include um, a history of eviction, experience with health and illness, as well as reasons undisclosed due to stigma. And also in the Point Count survey, it was found that among the homeless population, 20% represented youth, which were under the age of 24. And thinking about cold, stormy days like today, not having a roof over your head or community by your side makes it a lot harder to makes it a lot harder to get the potential that you to build a stronger and more resilient HRM. So the role of many city builders is to reconnect youth experiencing homelessness to health and community support. Our goal is to build mobile units in the form of refurbished shipping containers or trailers to act as a community hub that brings together health services, food security, and emergency housing in one spot. So you can see here two renderings made by Matt um, of what these could possibly look like. <coughs> the ease of transportation of these units will allow us to accompany and partner with existing mobile units such as MOSH, also known as the Mobile Outreach Street Health, Mobile Food Market, Hope Looms, and local shelters. By parking these units on private land waiting for development or city-owned land, we are able to build our many cities and provide immediate services to youth experiencing homelessness. So our one-year pilot project uh, consists of first establishing a community consultation so we can develop partnerships um, and reach out, find resources, key community leaders, um, uh, coincide with bylaws, and also gather other um, funding opportunities. Once we do that, then we can start to build a working prototype with the help of Cellbox and the Dow Architecture Free Lab. <coughs> Once we have a working prototype, then we can further gather more um, relationships and partnerships, and then take the information back to the city of Halifax on the uptake of the health and housing services targeted towards homeless youth. And on the right side of this of this slide is the breakdown of our two-year uh, funding program. So uh, here's a quick rendering uh, next to the Salvation Army on Gallagher Street, uh, showing what a community might look like if it popped up. Uh, has a booming port city in Halifax. Uh, we have an excess of shipping containers and construction trailers that could be upcycled into housing or services. Uh, has youth from, in, we're all youth from interdisciplinary fields of sustainability, food security, architecture, and engineering. And we provide a holistic approach to, uh, to tackling homelessness. Many city builders will bring to the city of Halifax a new way to connect service, shelter, and community to future generations. We are here to ask for your support in, uh, as neighbors in partnership and in funding. At the end of the day, communities are where we come together to learn, to grow, and most importantly, to live. is uh, on the topic of homelessness. There's a reason we don't call it houselessness. So beyond the four walls of your shipping containers, what makes this project something that will provide a community, long-term security, and provide the services to support people who need it most? So yeah, our goal, I guess, would be to take advantage of the existing mobile units that are in Halifax. So like I mentioned, the mobile food market, um, Hope Looms, which is really close by, um, 
Also MOSH, which uh, provides mobile health services to people in Halifax. Um, so establishing those partnerships um, will create kind of a community and hopefully we could have a model where, you know, we could have kind of these pop-up uh, venues where all of these communities can come together to be able to create a support network. Thank you. Okay, are they mentor? Are these mentor acts? Uh, technically, you could. They could be. Okay, um, so in my my actual I'm manager of homelessness at, at Housing Nova Scotia, so I'm sort of thinking we always feel the crunch um, this time of the year with the out of the cold shelter and, and how do we how are people sheltered? And ultimately, um, the goal is to get folks permanent housing. So. Um, no, I was just wondering if this was been twice, so it, it, it's a good spike, space to get someone's feet under them, to get them moved on. Is that, it, was that the intention? That was, yeah, it was never supposed to be a longer term resolution. It's really, I mean, an emergency housing. emergency housing, and then potentially overflow housing you know, for shelters, if shelters in the next Yeah, absolutely. As much as we say, like, we don't want to have a shelter business, it, it's, it's an emergency service that's required. But um, no, I think it's, I like the service aspect because then you can sort of, I'm always thinking, how do we move them out? Mm -hmm. so, thank you very much. Thanks for that great presentation to start off. Um, one quick question, uh, and it's gonna sound crass, what happens to the poop? So you have, you have a toilet, uh, what, what happens to that, other services, how, you, how do you plan to deal with that? Yes, yeah. I'll just talk. Um, we, in theory, you could potentially have it essentially off-grid, you know, solar, compostable toilets, some form of water tank system. It does get pretty complicated and unfortunately expensive once you start looking at those resolutions, so uh, we aren't entirely sure, but hopefully somebody can help us figure that out. Um, I was just wondering, this, maybe I don't know anything about this, but um, how would it work if we're going to put this on like commercial land temporarily and move it around? How would it work for insurance purposes or anything like that? Have you given any thought to that? Uh, that was one of the partnerships that we like. We want to make sure that we can coincide with the bylaws. So we're we're not necessarily in the housing sector, so we have a lot to learn on that aspect. So that's why we want to reach out to the people that can help us figure out how to make sure everything is uh, between the lines and everything. Awesome.